Hello everybody and welcome back to the Forza Horizon 4 information show. So in today's video guys, I'm going to be going over everything that we saw that's new from the Horizon 4 Summer Livestream uh, that was on Tuesday night over on the Mixer and Twitch channels for Forza Motorsport. And um, Playground Games announced the uh, the series of weekly live streams which follow the four seasons in Horizon 4. They started off this week with an hour long stream from their, head, uh, from their uh, HQ showing uh, the beautiful British summer. So uh, I'm going to be going over in today's video a summary of everything new announced from the live stream. But before we get into today's video guys, uh, if you're not sure what we're doing around here, this is the Forza Horizon 4 information show and what we do on the show guys is we discuss Forza Horizon 4 to the absolute max up to the release in October and then a whole load of videos to come after that so stay tuned for those. If you do go on to enjoy today's video guys, please slap that like button as hard as you can and subscribe so you never miss a future Forza Horizon 4 video here on my channel. So, we're going to get started off with houses. So, the stream started off in the picturesque village of Broadway in the Cotswolds. This is the location of one of the game's 12 houses. The one shown in Broadway is known as The Gables and is given to players for free about an hour into the story. It, also, it is uh, also possible to own all 12 and you aren't just limited to just one. Other showcase houses include one at Ambleside in the Lake District, the house is called uh, Sunflower Meadows, with small details given about the others. We already know that Edinburgh Castle is one of those available to purchase, and today uh, Ralph Fulton confirmed that it is the most expensive of the lot, but didn't say on a price. Anyone who eventually gets around to buying it will be rewarded with a crown and royal wave emote for their character, we'll get into that in just a moment. Edinburgh Castle isn't the only house with perks, as all purchasable properties have unique perks, including one which allows you to fast travel anywhere on the map. Another house is located deep into the British forest land, but no details were given about its exact whereabouts, so it, it's kind of a barn find house kind of dealy. When you find it, you can move in. So for the map, so speaking of the whereabouts, I'm sure there will be many of you in the comments section asking what's the map like. Unfortunately, no one knows, really, apart from the developers. Uh, however, we do know that the map will be showcased on next week's live stream, so definitely stay tuned for that. Um, today, uh, we are only on the left side, the western side, so the left side of the map. Um, and this is because we started off in the Cotswolds, uh, which is down the south of the map, drove up to the Lake District in the northwest, and get close to the Scottish border at the north. The rest of the British landmarks, such as the Yorkshire Dales and most of Scotland, remain undiscovered and unobtainable uh, through gameplay. Not shown today, but confirmed, was the return of an airstrip. This year, it takes the form of an abandoned, of an abandoned airfield, but that doesn't make it any less fun. This particular airstrip contains a Jim Carner-like obstacle course fit with props ideal for creating your own stunting or drifting montages. Of course, you can still do drag races at the airfield, along with the one we already knew that exists, uh, exists at the Horizon Festival. Um, uh, we were also told that players can also do uh, drag racing on the ice lake in the winter and even on the beach. So, also revealed today is the addition of more car perks and laybys ideal for car meets after their popularity in Horizon 3. Motorways and highways are making a return from the previous Horizon games. Each one has some sort of straight public highway, and that's no different for Horizon 4. While no footage was actually shown, Ralph Fulton explained how he loved the authenticity of the road signs, green for A-roads and blue for motorways, with brown used to indicate sites of heritage. So finally for the map, uh, the verticality of Britain is something which was heavily emphasised in the announcement of Horizon 4, and today it was very much re uh, reiterated with examples of the Welsh Valleys and the Scottish Highlands. But just outside of Ambleside you could see a switchback road with ones with uh, lots of hairpins. Um, and this was most likely the Kirkstone Pass, one of Britain's most famous and treacherous roads. While it may not be quite the same as Mount Fuji in Japan, it should certainly keep drifters happy, and possibly even happier than any of the other Horizon gamers. So, uh, speaking of those elevation changes, uh, environment. Now, those elevation changes bring us nicely into the details about the environment, because first off, you can expect it to rain in summer. No British summer goes by without a decent spell of rainfall. As a British man, I know this. Thanks to the amazing... Um, you know, like, differ uh, differentiality of the actual climate. Um, it's the same in Horizon, so linked to this, rivers and streams will have less water in the summer than the winter, so challenges and races which see you drive through these rivers may be drastically different depending on the season. 
Furthermore, uh, the animals of Horizon Fort will change with the season. So, for example, sheep will have more wool in the winter and will be shorn towards the end of spring as the temperatures start to rise again. The more technical changes to the environment include a much more diverse selection of foliage, a uh, pixel lighting model, and the use of photogrammetry for the in-game potholes, taking, which is basically taking really high-resolution photos of the potholes, then importing them into a 3D uh, model and then into the game. While you don't need to know exactly what the heat of that means, just know that it really does improve the look of the overall game. So customization. Now, it's always been a major part of Forza games. Uh, the introduction of your own character in Horizon 3 has now evolved further in Horizon 4. Players can choose from over 500 clothing items. Um, all characters can pick from the same closet, so your male character can wear a skirt if you want to. I think that's probably what I'm going to do for a bit of laughs. Um, <laughs> but there are also a few special outfits, such as the uh, chicken outfits, uh, like the suits from Family Guy. All clothing items have their own rarity. Green is most common, moving up to blue, purple, and then gold for the rarest. Finally, for characters, you will also be able to use emotes, just like, uh, say, in Fortnite. So these include the, the dab, the floss, the hotline bling, macaron, the thumbs up, and so much more. But there will be at least 50 emotes to choose from at launch, and uh, with more being added uh, during the life cycle of the game. So, moving on to the important stuff. Car customization. I'm pretty sure that's what everyone's here for. Similar to the introduction of your own character, Horizon 3 also introduced wide body kits for the first time. This progress is very much continued with Horizon 4, you'll be very glad to hear, where 30 new body kits will be available for cars such as the McLaren 650S Liberty Walk, the Nissan Skyline R32 Rocket Bunny, RWB and some awesome off-roading kits. You'll also be glad to hear that the shopping cart also finally makes a return to the upgrade shop, um, which for some reason still isn't in, uh, in Motorsport 7, but still, as well as the ability to offset your wheels, make them stick out from the arches. This should allow for some really, really nice looking stance builds in front of your houses. So finally, in the Upgrades tab, uh, when uh, the live stream was paused, I noticed a few features called Car Masteries. Not really sure what this is for, because it wasn't even mentioned in the live stream. In fact, they were actually quite quick to get it off the screen and then switch to the face cam to cover it up. But it just showed a wide-body Ferrari 458. So maybe it's something to do with a secret uh, mission in-game or something, where you can unlock different parts, and then you get uh, up to, I think it's out of 11 Masteries which you can purchase. So, you know, we'll have to uh, have, a, have a look and see what's going on with that. So the other changes uh, that we were found in the live stream, guys, so there's also a handful of other smaller changes that was noticed. Uh, one of these is the rebranding of followers to influence. Uh, this mechanic seems to work in much the same way as in Horizon 3, but is now split into groups depending on the race types, such as dirt, asphalt, uh, rallycross, etc. As well as the global influence counter. When you level this up, you get a wheel spin. Which, talking of wheel spins, there are now two types, regular and super. Again, little details were given, but we do know that the super wheel spins will have three wheel spins compared to one for regular. Bonus builds also return and are scattered across the map like every Horizon game we've had so far, giving you discounts at the upgrade shop. So when driving in cockpit view, we now also have the ability to remove the steering wheel view, uh, from view completely. This is available to all cars now, not just a select few. And also, if you end up smashing into one of the iconic dry stone walls, don't worry, because simply drive away and come back in a few minutes, and uh, it will actually be repaired. Smash it down again. Have some fun. So that's it for the information I have for you in today's video, guys, on the Forza Horizon 4 Summer Livestream that was on July 10th. And uh, obviously, guys, if you made it this far into the video, I'm pretty sure you're interested in the Horizon game. So if you are, um, let me know down there in the comment section below what you're most looking forward to in Horizon 4, whether any of this information today has been... Um, quite handy for you today and uh, what you actually want to see come or has already came uh, in Horizon 4 let me know down in the comment section below I'm very intrigued to know what you guys think but anyway guys that is it for me in today's video I, I did hope you enjoyed it if you did please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you over in my next video guys so I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye bye